Hi, let's get cooking. Today I'm going to make cinnamon roll, apple, caramel apple cups. What I'm going to do is take the cinnamon rolls and roll them out and put them in the pie uh, um, muffin pan and then fill them with apple pie filling and add a piece of caramel to them. I've, the recipe doesn't call for the caramel, but this is something I added to it. So I got some Pam cooking spray. I got my muffin tin. Now this only makes eight and I didn't have a small enough pan. So we're gonna go with that. And um, I got one can of um, apples pie filling. This recipe takes a stick and a half of room temperature butter. I've got two out. Uh, the measurements of flour, I believe it's one and a half cups of flour, a third of a cup of white sugar. And I forgot how much brown sugar, but I'll tell you that when I get to the recipe. And then it's a pinch of salt. You need wax paper to roll these out, and that's why I have a rolling pin, because I'm gonna roll them flat and put them inside here. And of course, I got a measuring cup and a little bit of cinnamon, because I have to do the crumble. And the good thing about the crumble is I'm gonna make a bunch of it, and it keeps in the freezer for three months. So you can just get it out as you need it. So I'm gonna put you guys on pause and get everything set up so we can start cooking. This should only take about 20, 25 minutes total with everything. Um, so I'll put you on pause, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got all, it's eight of them. So I spaced them out, I put them on wax paper. Now it's the first time I've made these, so we shall see if I needed to spray this. But you need to roll these out with a, uh oh, with a rolling pan. You want these to be more flat. Okay, here we go, do it like this. object of this is for these to be like the little bottom cups of the little dessert bites that I'm making. So you just want them trying to keep them in a round shape. And just so you know your grill does not bake. Um, that's something I rarely do. I do um I like cookies and pies. I don't really like cake. Um, I'll eat it but I'm Kind of particular, I only like one kind of cake, and that's chocolate cake. So, and I'm funny about the icing. So, yeah, that's something you'll probably never see me do is uh, make a cake or whatever. And I'm just trying to roll these out so they're more of a round shape instead of oval, because I want them to fit like a little cup. And no, I didn't spray this, and I see I didn't need to. So, if you try these, you can just do it like this and roll them out, kind of thin. I saw this recipe and I figured I'd change it up a little bit so you get the gist of it. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys back on pause and then get these fixed and then come back and show you how I put them in that pan. Okay, I sprayed my muffin pan and what I did was I rolled these out so the gist of this, they're supposed to be like, go in there like that, like a little cup. These are the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. You can get any kind, whatever kind of store brand you can find. I just happened to grab the name brand Pillsbury. I'm gonna keep them all together. Yeah, I wanted a six, uh, eight um, muffin pan, but I couldn't find one that I wanted to get the, the one that was disposable, but I was so afraid that I wouldn't be able to get them out. So I went with this traditional. I'm just pressing them down in here like this so they make nice little cups and then I'll show you how I make the crumble to put on top these would be cool I figure if you're having a dinner party like for Super Bowl or something that's what I'm making these for having a couple people over and you don't have to have any dishes you can um, hopefully eat these with a napkin and here's the last one this is number eight and I'm just trying to put them in here kind of nice and I spray it all the way around because I don't want this to stick and I don't want a hard 
job of having to clean these. So what I also decided, which was not in the recipe that I found when I saw these, is I'm adding the caramel bites. So what I'm gonna do is um, spoon a little bit of the apple pie. This is just out of the, the jar. I mean the can, it's apple pie filling. That's probably too much. And put a little bit in there like that in each one. And I am trying to be a little bit more healthier. This is no high fructose fructose sugar, which is supposed to be the sugar that's bad for you. So I did, I did check that. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make stuff more healthy. It doesn't make sense to put all those letters next to my name and then show you guys all this unhealthy stuff. But technically, I'm just showing you guys stuff that I like to eat. Um, didn't say my channel was healthy, but I need to, um, my plan is to try and do some healthier things later this year. Right now, I'm just trying to show you guys all my little go-to meals for somebody like myself who does not like to cook. Uh-oh. But this is stuff that I will break down and cook. So I just put some pie filling in there. And then what I plan to do is add one piece of caramel to each one to make them caramel apple. Um, these basically are for my husband. I may eat a couple, I don't know. They're not really my style. I was gonna make bourbon peach, but a woman I work with, Michelle, she said, oh no, do the apple cinnamon. So there, I've got all of them set. Now I just have to make the crumble. So I'm gonna put you on pause set up so we can make the crumble and then get these in the oven. Okay guys, what I did, I measured off camera. I apologize if that offends some people, but for the sake of time. So I put in here one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then I added a third, um, this is three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar. And then I have a third of a cup of granulated sugar. Oh, and you need a little bit of salt and a little bit of cinnamon. Now, it's supposed to be a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just gonna eyeball this just a little bit. This is uh, sea salt, it's a little bigger. And, um, if, and the recipe says if you don't have um, brown sugar, uh, if you only have, you should only use brown sugar as opposed to just the white sugar because you need the, the molasses and stuff in there to give it the texture. So then what you want to do is get this all mixed up and the butter is room temperature. I cut it in little cubes and like I said, this is way more than enough. But what intrigued me about this recipe is you can make this crumble and keep it in your, in your, fri in your freezer for three months and then it's all set and ready to go. And it also says I don't have to pull out the uh, pastry cutter. And you cannot use melted butter because it'll make the flour gummy and gooey, just so you know, it needs to be uh, room temperature. I'm just mixing this up really good. Looks awful light to me. Let me double check. Three, four, seven cup, yeah. Measurements are right, okay. So now that I got that together and I got my cups, now I'm gonna put the butter in. Tried to keep it on the paper. It's a little easier that way. And then you're supposed to use your fingers and uh, mash this together until you get a crumble. So I'm gonna keep mashing this and um, let you guys see how this turns out. Really easy, I think, um, if you wanna have people over and you wanna make something quick, um, you don't want people to have to have a plate is my thing. I mean, you can put this in a napkin. I'm hoping and nibble these as you walk around. And you just wanna keep mixing this together until it's like a crumbly with the butter. Okay. So I'm gonna keep mixing this up and then come back and show you guys what it looks like. Yikes. Okay, I've got my crumble mixture all mixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put like, that's why I sprayed this whole thing because I don't want it to be a mess to clean and put the crumble on top. And if you only use white sugar, you can't because it'll turn out uh, gummy and floury and pasty. So like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this, you have to use uh, brown sugar. If you only have one, then it's brown sugar. Don't use just all white sugar with the flour and the butter. It will not be um, a good crumble. Some crumbles you can add oatmeal, um, oats I guess I should say, but I didn't want to do that crumble. I just wanted a plain crumble. Oh, I have to give you the measurements. Um, if you're gonna use, I just put in some cinnamon because I didn't feel like measuring it. The correct measurement is a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon for these, for the crumble mixture. I just kind of eyeballed it. 
I'm trying to put this back in here so it'll be less messy for me to clean. These go into a 400 degree oven. My oven is already preheated and ready to go. And supposedly 17 to 20 minutes. I will time it and see. So, it doesn't look the cutest right now, but you can see what they look like. So there'll be eight of them. So let me I put you on pause, turn the camera around so you can see them in the oven. Okay, you can see what it looks like. Uh, that's what's left. I'm going to put that in the freezer and that way if I want to make some more, you just need crumble for anything. Like I said, that keeps for three months. You can't beat it. There they are. They're in the oven. There's eight of them. I got the crumble on top. Temperature's 400 degrees. I'm going to let these go for about 17 to 20 minutes then come back, tell you guys my joke, and show you what they look like. Okay guys, I'm going to cut the timer off. They've been cooking exactly 20 minutes, so I'll go ahead and take those out so we can see them. And then I'll tell you guys, get it set up and tell you as my joke. Okay, that's what they look like after 20 minutes. I'm gonna let them cool and see if I can get them out uh, without tearing them up. I see this one kind of spread it a little bit. So I'm pushing that back over there. I see the caramel's oozing out of there. My suggestion, since this is the first time I made them, I see the caramel on top, which is fine. Drop the caramel down in the bottom and then put the apples on top. So I'm going to put these on pause, and put you on pause and then come back and set up and tell you my joke. Okay, there they are, you guys. Don't they look delicious? They are the bomb. The more you touch them, the more stuff starts falling off of them. Like that one there that's oozing. My recommendation is put the caramel piece at the bottom. That was not part of the recipe. That's something I added to make them caramel apple. Uh, and they also come with um, some icing. So what I did was I put in the microwave, yikes, for just a couple minutes. And I'll drizzle some on top just for extra deliciousness, I guess. So you see these are really rich and sweet. And this comes with it. See, it's gotten hard since I've been waiting. But anyway, I'm going to tell you guys my joke as I do this. So I'm going to read it. I'm, oh, by the way, I'm doing these during Super Bowl. If you happen to catch this one, this will be the first one up. This will probably be the first and only time, well, it's the first time, maybe the only time in the history of my channel that I will put up five videos in one week. They're basically for Super Bowl um, to give you guys some ideas on some stuff to make um, since people are be entertaining. A lot of people in the United States I have company over, and I'm going to do a dip and a bunch of little stuff. So anyway, let me tell you my joke. So this is Super Bowl week, but anyway. A man finds his seat at the Super Bowl. He looks over and notices that, the, that there's an empty seat between himself and the next guy. The guy asks, who in their right mind would miss the Super Bowl, especially with great seats like these? The man next to him lets out a small, friendly smile and says, well, actually this was my wife's seat. She passed away recently and we had already purchased the tickets. The tickets were so expensive, I thought I should, I should still go and see the game. The first guy is taken aback and says, oh my, I'm so sorry for your loss, but then thinks for a second. However, don't you think it would have been a nice gesture to take one of her family members to the game? The man, the man looks ahead and replies, I would, but they're all at the funeral right now. Terrible joke. But anyway, yeah, Super Bowl seats are very expensive. I don't know if I would have missed my wife's funeral. That's just too much. I just would have given them away. But anyway, give these a try. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, please like, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification button so you won't miss the um, great recipes I have for um, appetizers and entertaining. These are um, cinnamon, apple cinnamon, caramel apple cinnamon. I don't know what I'm gonna call them. Anyway, um, I'll think about that later. I know you're supposed to come up with your title first, but I'm still chewing on it. Anyway, thanks for watching and God bless.